What's up YouTube, Zai here. Welcome back to a brand new Mana Mobile video, and in today's video, it is indeed the end of Mana Mobile 24. But what I'm gonna do before that is I'm gonna give you guys my Ravens theme team, just because that's what we've been working on all year, and I've kept it all year, shockingly, compared to last year. So, yeah. There's no sign of 6593 overall, although that would have been cool. But, we have a team that's close I think 6,000. I'm going to show you guys, and we'll get, and that'll be the video. Our last video, Man of Mobile 24, I think. We're only going to have two videos for, like, the end of the thing, and then, like, a goodbye video. That's really it. That's all. Here it is, guys. 55-69 overall, 181 offense, 193 defense, 173 special teams, and a couple positions we never got, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to start off with our quarterback, obviously, Lamar Jackson. I spent about four maxes. But yeah, yeah, once I saw he won MVP, you knew what I had to do. I had to get a Mythic as an MVP. I just had to. And that's what happened around the boost when I, they came out, which ended on March 26th. So yeah, I had to do that. We're going to join the backfield with King Derrick Henry, the newest Raven from the Movers promo. Probably one of my favorite promos every year. Just mainly due to like special players joining these teams after, after like... Amazing trades or something. So yeah, and then for our fullback, Cal check. Now at the start of next year, I am going to rock with Mythic Ricard. Only because of the overall, like, change, which was right here. You know, overall, so the Mythic's going to be better than the Iconic check, but just for overall reasons, we're putting him in right now. So yeah, and for our receiving core, we have Steve Smith Sr. Rave. Technically, Panthers legend, but played for the Ravens at the end of his career. And beat the Panthers down when they played him. What's up, Devin Hester Sr. Best return... Man of all time. And if I'm being honest, should not be in the Hall of Fame, which is stupid to say, but it should have been Antonio Gates. If I'm being completely honest with you, but got him 10th anniversary. There was either that or the kick returner card, but I knew later on down the road he'd get a better kick returner card, which I'll get to in a bit. But for now, here's Rogers here for Devin Hester. Next up at our flex, Mark Andrews, team of the year. Well, not team of the year, sorry, Vault with the team of the year card art from last year. It's pretty, it was a pretty cool promo. One of my favorite ones, honestly. So me getting him was definitely a... It was it for me, you know. Had to get him. Next up... Oh, next up, the man who retired. And also got dumped by Kelsey Plum. Man, you really sold the bag right there. You sold. Anyways. Pretty cool card. Draft art. Not really my favorite. Draft but. He was technically drafted by the Ravens, but was let go due to drug issues or whatever. Ain't too high. I don't know. Now he's on the offensive line. I'm going to start on the weak side. At right guard, that, that doesn't matter. Ronnie Stanley at right tackle. One of the first cards I actually got for this team, if I'm being honest. Or one of the first few. Don't remember. At left guard, we have Kevin Zeitler. Team of the... Week, I had to wait till this was in the exchange packs to get him, but yeah. Then we got Orlando Brown from the standouts promo, which honestly he still has the boost on because, yeah, all still not standouts, the staff. Sorry, it's an S, okay? I don't really care. And last but not least, the gem of all gems on this team are center, a mythic center. You heard that right. From the season pass as well, reckon. Not even the journey player. Or field pass player. Tyler Linderbaum. Gives the overall boost to Mythics. For like my Lamar Jackson, Pat Ricard if I have a man. So, so yeah. Obviously our coach is John Harbaugh. That's kind of obvious if I didn't say that earlier. Defense is where it's really at. Let's start off at the dime. We got Marlon Humphrey from this promo right here. The... This, whatever the heck the promo's called, Astro. Get these videos out and ready for you guys. So Marlon Humphreys at the dime. At the nickel, we got Marcus Williams, who had a decent year with the Ravens. Could have been better, but team of the like team of the week harder. These ones were pretty cool, if you ask me. At the, then at the two, we're gonna have Marcus Peters, which is now a chief or Raider technically, but but has the Chiefs card art. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Looks like it's from the Movers promo. They has some of the Chiefs uniform for the Ravens. Or Raiders, sorry. You can't really tell. Don't remember, but yeah. Don't know how long ago that was either. And our CB1, Max Deion Sanders. 
Talk about a card. This is a card. Other than him being a little short for a corner. Eh, it's still pretty good. He's had some good plays for me. He even had a user pick. At left... F left safety or strong safety position, Eddie Jackson. The newest Raven, which recently just signed a contract as well. So I'm glad to have him on the team, and I'm glad to have three Ravens this promo that we were able to get. Next, about the free safety or right safety, you got Ed Reed. Took a while for him to get a card from Season 7. When he had a card, that's how long I had him for, and now I got his new card. From the GOAT promo to the Under the Sea promo, or Deep Sea, whatever. Linebacker, we got Terrell Suggs. He's just one of the greatest linebackers of all time, in my opinion. Can't say too much. Clowny! Definitely got him. Had to get him from this flashbacks promo. Who is in his Texans gear? He's once a Raven, always a Raven. Don't care where he signs. I hope he has a good rest of his career, even though it's kind of crap right now. Then our D-line, don't care about Matthew Butler. And we got Zach Sealer as well. This was interesting. I couldn't get his rare, so instead I got his uncommon, which still is better than nothing. Epic Justin Matabuika from Domination. Led the, league, led the league in sacks, I think, as well. As a D-tackle, not an, even an edge rusher. A D-tackle. So definitely worth it. Definitely deserve the contract. Can't wait, can't wait to see what he does this year. And we got Clays Campbell. Like I said, once a Raven, always a Raven. Did pretty well with us, but not as well as they were hoping, I think. But he's going to have a good rest of his career, I think, for sure. Hall of, first battle Hall of Famer. And our two studs as linebackers. First up, Roquan Smith. Out of the linebackers today, probably top five. Not top three, because I'd probably put Fred Warner. Nah, actually, no, he might be top three. I don't know. But still pretty good. Then last but not least, Ray Lewis. 270 overall. My best card on the team, I would argue by far. And the greatest linebacker of all time. Which has two Super Bowl rings. One with, one with, it, with them in 2000 and 2013. In his last game of his career, he won a Super Bowl. And it was the greatest Super Bowl of all time. You can come at me. So congrats on a great career. And I have him on the team officially. No punter, so... And Bowling and Crochet as our punt returner. Just don't really use them. Hopefully next year they give us a reason to use these. Or else it's going to shit. Next up, Justin Tucker, the GOAT. I think we have the both GOATs here, but the GOAT of all kickers is Justin Tucker. Because he's hit further field goals than Prater. It's just, he's pretty much broken all the records. The most points in Ravens history. Longest field goal in history, and it was at Ford Field, so that's even more of a plus. It was a dome stadium, but still, he did it, so that's what matters. Last but not least, probably the other hidden gem on this team, kick returner Max Devin Hester. Now, we technically have the worst kick returner and the best kick returner of the game. Now, if I could find a way to compare these two, I will in the next video, possibly, or even at the end of this. I don't know. Definitely the speed definitely compares, like everything returning, no crap to their overalls, but yeah. I see like a tiny taste of what my theme team is like looking at it, it was fun. I had a fun time building it throughout the whole year, next year we're going to keep going with it and see how, just how good we're able to make it, I guess. But that'll be the end of the video, so if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, we're on the road to 1100 subscribers, and yeah. I'll see you guys in Metamold 25, peace.